15. The Great Pyrenees The Great Pyrenees dog breed is calm, patient, and smart. This dog usually weighs anywhere from 85 to 160 pounds, but it's such a lovable pup to have in your family, who cares if he's chubby? While the Great Pyrenees is great in mass, he's not lazy. As a matter of fact, this breed is most commonly used to guard livestock. As a household pet, he'll love and protect your family. Hey man, do you know the Great Pyrenees was bred to be left alone to guard sheep on a mountain? In the valley? Therefore, they're independent. Number 14. The Caucasian Shepherd This dog is an impressive creature of giant size and legendary protection ability. This ancient and rare flock guarding breed originated in the Caucasus Mountains of the former Soviet Union. With a weight from 100 to 200 pounds, this dog has surely earned its way onto the largest dog breed list. This breed is huge and bear-like. Shortly after birth, shepherds crop the pup's ears horizontally and bluntly close to the head, thereby eliminating the demise of the ears by the teeth of a predatory wolf. Oh, dude! It will, like, protect its family from other humans, wolves, and even bears, dude! Number 13. Kangles Kangles are pack-leading animals, and while they only reach to around 145 pounds, they make up for it in muscle. The Kangle dog has the strength, the speed, and the courage to intercept and confront threats to the flocks of sheep and goats that it guards in both Turkey and the New World. Kangle dogs can reach speeds of up to 30 miles per hour, so watch out around this one. Hey, did you know that the Kangle is so loyal? It's the national dog of Turkey. They love that dog so much, they put it on a stamp. Are you on a stamp? Number 12. The French Mastiff Next on the list is the Dogue d'Arbordeaux, the French Mastiff. His serious expression, stocky and athletic build, and self-assurance makes him very imposing. Despite his fearsome appearance, the Dogue d'Arbordeaux is gentle with children and family members. You could say that the largest thing on this dog would be his massive head, which can be a circumference of up to 30 inches. But we all know the biggest thing on this dog is his loyal heart. Aww. It's like the French Mastiff almost went extinct after World War II, y'all. If it wasn't for the French breeder Raymond Triquet, they'd like be gone. Number 11. The Black Russian Terrier This dog has large bones and well-developed muscles. Known as the Black Pearls of Russia, they are people-oriented and want to be close to the action at all times. This outstanding guard dog can weigh up to 140 pounds. These dogs get bored sometimes, and when they're bored, they're destructive. If they're not properly exercised with that size, they could be quite a problem. The Black Russian Terrier is not actually a true terrier. Number 10. Newfoundland here, we have the Newfoundland breed, which isn't just a bodyguard. Its loyal nature, thick build, thicker coat, and strong swimming ability make it ideal for use as a water rescue animal. This swell swimming giant is quite a good pack horse, very capable and very hardworking. An interesting fact about the Newfoundland breed is that in the very famous 1904 play Peter Pan, a Newfoundland dog named Nana was employed by the Darling family as a nanny to the children in that story. Did you know that the Newfie was originally used as a, as a working dog? And what they would do is they'd pull the nets out of the water for the fishermen. And sometimes they were dragging wood around for the chopsmen. Number 9. Leonberger The very large Leonberger dog breed is bred by mixing Newfoundlands, Great Pyrenees, and St. Bernard's. It can weigh up to 170 pounds. Adult males in particular are powerful and strong and carry a lion-like mane on the neck and chest. The lovable giant is high in intelligence and even higher in energy. They have a knack for mischief and mess, but on the plus side, their deep and hoarse bark will keep intruders away from your home. Dude, the Leonberger is one of the oldest dogs dating back to Germany. Leonberger, I'm hungry. Number 8. The Tibetan Mastiff this dog is a loyal and dependable companion. While these pooches usually range from 140 to 170 pounds, some European owners have claimed that theirs have reached up to 220 pounds. Marco Polo described the Tibetan Mastiff as, quote, tall as a donkey, with a voice as powerful 
as that of a lion. The Tibetan Mastiff is serious and dignified, calm and quiet. Unless provoked, despite his bulk, this breed is remarkably agile, skilled at climbing and jumping, and requires a six-foot high fence, not to keep burglars out, but to keep your giant dog in. It's like Tibetan Mastiffs, they have this like really strong instinct concerning like people. And if they don't get over that initial instinct, there's usually a good reason. You should trust your dog and junk. Just trust them. Number seven, the Doberman Pinscher. When talking about beauty, brains, agility, and loyalty, what other breed could we be discussing other than the Doberman Pinscher? The Doberman, while one of the smallest breeds on our list, is no runt in this pack. Built compactly, it has a muscular body and the strength and endurance to keep on going when it needs to. Herr Carl Friedrich Louis Doberman, the maker of this breed, was a tax collector and dog catcher in Germany in the late 1800s. As a dog catcher, he could choose the best dogs for his breeding. He was able to blend several breeds to develop the Doberman, but he kept no records. The Doberman did gain a solid reputation for its harsh strength of character and an ability to hunt, bite, and kill. Hey, listen up. When Mr. Doberman died in 1894, he had done such a good job with that dog. People carried on his legacy by choosing to breed only the bravest, smartest, quickest, and toughest dogs they could. Now that's respect, kid. That's respect. Number 6. The English Mastiff These dogs are gentle giants, and they're one of the oldest breeds. They've been depicted in Egyptian monuments as early as 3000 BC, and they're thought to have come to America on the Mayflower. Some of the Mastiff's talents include being a watchdog, being a guard dog, being a police dog, being a military dog, and being a search and rescue dog. When a kennel club says the word Mastiff, they are referring to the English Mastiff. Number 5. The Burmese Mountain Dog this dog was originally bred as a farm dog and is one of the four Senenhund breeds. They're intelligent, strong and agile enough to herd cattle, pull carts, and to be a watchdog in mountainous terrain. The dog is tricolor with symmetrical markings of black, rust, and white. In addition to being strikingly good looking, the burner has a wonderful temperament. Did you know this breed is so old that it came from the Romans? They brought him to Switzerland 2,000 years ago, today. Number 4. The Italian Mastiff Coming in at fourth, we have the Italian Mastiff, or the Cana Corso, which is notoriously hard to train. The Cana Corso outdoes the other Mastiff breeds in athleticism, agility, speed, energy level, and sense of adventure. This old Italian dog breed was developed to guard property and hunt big game, such as wild boar. Although this breed was never used for dogfighting, their aggression can still be a serious problem. They're unwilling to just lie around all day, and they will find their own work to do, even if you don't provide it. They're usually running the fence and barking at passers-by, digging deep holes, or chewing up your furniture. The term Cana Corso literally means running dog. Number 3. The Great Dane the Great Dane, although looking terribly imposing, in reality is one of the best-natured dogs around. They're the Apollo of dogs, reaching to a weight of 200 or more pounds. It's no surprise that this dinosaur of a dog is one of the most well-known of the giant breeds. The Great Dane is popular today in America, even appearing in popular culture, such as the newspaper comic character Marmaduke, or the Hanna-Barbera cartoon character Scooby-Doo, or Astro in the TV show The Jetsons. Oh, whoa, whoa, dude! Did you know the Great Dane has nothing to do with Denmark? They're from Germany, dude! Germany! Number 2. The Scottish Deerhound This dog's original purpose was to hunt and bring down the Scottish Roe Deer, a magnificent beast twice the size of this little puppy. The hunting of antlered game with dogs is not permitted in the U.S., but the Deerhound has been used very successfully on rabbits, coyotes, and wolves. As a companion, the Deerhound is ideal, being tractable, easy to train, and possessing the most dependable loyalty and utmost devotion to their master. Did you know that the Scottish Deerhound is so calm, people can't even use him as a guard dog? They just walk up and want to hug you and junk. Number 1. The St. Bernard Last on our list is the giant St. Bernard, 
The St. Bernard's expression often appears more stern, but it's never ill-tempered. A dog this size must be trained early in their puppyhood because once their nature sets in, it's likely their bad habits are going to stick around for a while. Some of the St. Bernard's talents are search and rescue, guard dog, and watchdog. They've also been known to predict storms and avalanches. It's like the most famous St. Bernard ever was named Barry? He rescued between 45 and 100 people, y'all. They even built a statue to him in Bern, Switzerland. Let's go pet it. Let's go feel the burn.